Aquarius, hi, it's Midnight Maeva, your spiritual media correspondent. Yes, baby. Um, let's see here. Oh, this is for the current energies. Whenever you reach this is when it's meant for you to watch it. Um, you know the spiel, like, share, subscribe. Um, if it doesn't apply to you, leave it alone. Some things might, some things might resonate, some things might not. Uh, yeah, just take whatever you can do something with. And then, um, yeah, leave the rest and the roles could be reversed as well. So we got the air guardian coming out, out the gate, out jump. Uh, air guardian, shift your perception. Uh, change the way you think and you will change your whole reality. Sorry. I have like a clogged ear problem. I always have ear, nose, and throat problems. I don't know if you do as well. A lot of throat chakra stuff going on right now, Aquarius. Um, the Air Guardian card represents the angel of the uh, air element. Duh. Um... Traditionally, air is about thoughts and thinking and everything that's happening in the mind. So these angels can help you to overcome any thoughts that have come back to haunt you from the past to see the world more clearly. Ancestors, hello. They are guiding you to change the way you think about certain situations. So pretty much Aquarius, stop being an asshole, you know. It's kind of, you know, standard. I'm kidding. Um, when this card arises, it's an opportunity to learn your way of thinking. You are being guided to recognize that not all of you, that not all you see is the, wow. I forgot how to read. You are being guided to recognize that not all you see is exactly the way you see it. Or not all is, is what it seems. Or you know that bullshit saying, whatever. Sometimes the mind can play games. And sometimes perceptions can be wrong. I don't know. I'm a Leo, so I've never been wrong. So that's like an Aquarius thing. Um, if you are being challenged. Or feel that there's a lack of clarity or direction in your life at this time um there's a good chance the way you're thinking and your what you're focusing on has a lot to do with that reality of the past opportunities are moving in your direction i think it did i give you the oh no no that was leo that i got the brains i got the looks let's make lots of money um but they will only open up for you if you're ready to do internal work to support them so, Aquarius, what this means to you, or how it translates to, especially Aquarius, but maybe some of the air, the other two air signs too. Well, no, Libra's pretty chill. So, I would say it's you and Gemini. All you heard from that right there with the Air Guardian is don't be yourself and have to worry about feelings and bullshit. And I know how an Aquarius is because... Even if they are so woke, or if they're a priest at a, or read tarot or whatever, you guys are just interested in gadgets and coolness and outer space and expansion and things like that. You're not worried about the way you made F Sally feel at Sunday school or whatever. Here we go. <laughs> uh, we have the King of Wands in reverse. And these cards could not be any more fucking glossier. We have temperance in the upright. And we have strength. So you could definitely be messing with the fire sign. These are, I mean, temperance is Sag. Leo, ho ho. Your opposite sign. I see you. So let's build on these. Okay, so why is the king of wands in reverse Aquarius? What have you been doing? It's You know it's your fault, right? I'm, I'm so kidding. I better stop that. You guys are going to think that I'm like a Aquarius hater or something. I have not. I love all the signs. Oprah's an Aquarius. P. Hilton's an Aquarius. I think that's it. I think that's all I know. The lover's card. So, you 
definitely were messing with the Leo Sagittarius Aries. And what happened with that? Can you tell me, Spirit? Someone refused death in reverse. Someone refused to start anew or go into a nice new cycle with this fire sign or vice versa. Either you try to get them to see the light or they try to get you to see the light. And you were like, nah, girl, I'm sitting here chilling in the dark in my little cave dwelling. Like, I'm under the troll bridge, you know, chilling, chilling and grilling. Tadpoles. Uh, so why is temperance here in the middle? Uh, oh. Perfect temperance. Oh my god, yes! Okay, so... Yesterday, I'll be honest with you. I'm sorry that I'm picking my ear. But, um, no, no, no. Yesterday, Aquarius, I was not feeling my reads, to be honest with you. And for that, I am sorry, Libra, Scorpio. And I forgot the other two that I did. It wasn't that they weren't authentic. It was just that I wasn't feeling the... You know, it was a really shoddy message for me and the divine. Anyways, let me get back to you, of course. I'm saying this is really good because you have eight of pentacles. You have three of pentacles. And then you have temperance right here in the middle. So I'm guessing that this is the present. This was the past. So let's see in this future with this um, strength card, which I like it. There's no air in this. It's all pentacles, cups, and wands. And frankly, a lot of stuff that you usually, is, that's usually out of your wheelhouse, Aquarius. You're usually the planner, not the doer or the enforcer. Um, let's see here. We have the Six of Swords. I like that. So you are building a boat of metaphorical or literal sorts, which is going to take you to your next limits and it's going to take you higher. Because you're thinking outside of the box. You're collaborating with people that you usually don't collaborate. You are giving another side, to uh, an argument, another life or a breath of life. And you're reassessing it and going, oh, okay, you know what? I didn't think about this. So you know what? I'm not trying to come and grovel at you that I'm so sorry. It's more of a thing of you help me help. You help me help you, you know, kind of thing. Um because we know we want to get out of here, which is the five of pentacles with the chariot. So I'm getting, I'm not always there when you call, but I'm always on time. Now baby, yeah. so baby, be my jam. Okay, let's get a card from the Oracle of E and then I'll have you anyway. Yeah, you know what? This is a group effort. This is either a family trying to come back together to save a house, like a mortgage, or they're trying to put, it's a group team effort at a job that has like a PowerPoint, or they have to sell, or they, they, they're taking a, a leap of faith and going out on a whim, and they're collaborating, and you're one of those main collaborators and you guys haven't been seeing eye to eye lately but you're noticing um yeah yeah whether it's work whether it's platonic or lovers that you're being a more of a team player right now because you're letting go of the past and whoever's hurt you and just because just because um you know that's happened doesn't mean it's gonna happen every time um I know it's it's easy to go, okay, these are the red flags, you know, um, you know, I'm out of it. But sometimes I think you're probably just looking for red flags 